What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Bio Incorporated Redemption. My name is Splattercat and I actually I finally killed this guy with all of the skulls. It was more difficult than I expected to force skull this. It took me a couple of yeah, it took me four tries is what it says right there. I think it actually I think it's counting an extra try right there because I got it on like my second or third. What I figured out is that you actually have better luck attacking the doctors and nerfing the doctors than you do attacking the individual himself. And so what you gotta do is you gotta line up all the debuffs on the doctors and nurses, and then you attack him so that they're slower and they can't do any of the things that they need to get done. And then you also gotta use your nurses' strikes at just the right moment when they're getting like all those crazy tests done to freeze him for a month so that he just sits, like, sits there and deteriorates and dies. Uh, we're going into the graveyard today. Let's see what's going on in the graveyard. We've got total failure, which seems like it's vaguely trying to insult me. But no, we're trying to make this guy into a total failure. John Smith? Nah, we'll call this guy... We'll call him Nick Knack Nugget. There we go. Nick Knack Nugget gotta go. Nugget only wants to help poor Billy. Nugget does not want to go to the hospital with horrible doctors and their treatments. Nugget already have pills. He no longer need this. Uh, we go collateral damage. Yeah, let's go with collateral damage. Uh, so that it increases the damage on other systems from the ones that we start on. And then I actually really like Head Start with 15 bio points. But the game seems to put a damper on you. If you have, if you have like 40 bio points that you haven't spent yet, I've noticed they stop spawning. I will go for better resources as well. Yeah, let's go for better resources. That sounds good. Oh, we got this. Nick Nat Nugget have horrible day. We throw Nugget in the Great Nugget Cave after he dies. So this guy's at 100% everything. I don't know if this guy is actually going to go to the doctor or anything like that. I would assume not. Like, some of the levels are just dummy levels where you're allowed to hit the enemy as hard as you can and, like, he doesn't fight back. And then other levels, he actually full-on, like, goes to the doctor and tries to get better. And then you got to fight with the doctors and everything, too, to try and get things underway. All those little stringy bits inside of there. Looks like he's made up of crab parts. Crab people. Crab people. Alright, so we got 12 bio points so far. I don't know exactly how I want to attack this guy. I assume what we'll do is we'll line up some pre-existing conditions to hurt his systems. Uh, that way, we don't have to worry about him going to the doctor. I would also give him a phobia of going to the doctor. If you give him a phobia of going to the doctor, a level 2 phobia will make it so that he won't go to the doctor until one of his systems is already at 50%. Which means if you start degrading them all equally at the same time, you can get them all down to like 50% before he goes to the doctor. Then you just explode stuff on him as fast as you can. I don't know, this game is vaguely sick in a lot of ways. I don't know. Just like killing a guy with diseases as a game seems like sort of a... I enjoy it, though. That's the problem. There's some, like, weird psychopathic bent deep down inside of me where I'm like, this guy needs to go. I like to imagine that he's doing something horrible, though, like in the background. Like, I don't know. Maybe he diddles kids. Maybe he, like, I don't know, uses charity money to, like, launder his taxes or something. He's doing something horrible. He's doing something horrible, and he deserves what we're doing to him right now. He's gotta go. As far as the universe goes, we are just the Karmic Mafia coming down with just a bullet vest with a fish wrapped in it just to take this guy out. We've got about 30 bio points. I like to save him up. I like to let him get to, like, 31 or so, and so we're gonna give him some risk factors here. Uh, we can attack, so what's gonna hurt him the most? Let's go for over 60, because that'll get skeletal and muscular working. And then we can attack muscular right there. And then nervous system. No, I don't really care about that. Circulatory and muscular from heredity. There we go. We'll get him with those three. So now he is of golden age. Membership, uh, Nugget has gotten older. It has been a long time since Nugget went to kindergarten. He has trouble remembering those days. Probably due to the pills. The pills are problematic. Alright, so he's got it. We probably want to attack his muscular system first. The only downside there is that actual muscular things are easier to treat than a lot of other stuff. Like, the nice thing is there's no bouncing back. Once muscular goes critical, there's not really a whole lot of bouncing back from that. Uh, they, seem, they seem to have trouble coming back from that one. Terminate all systems. This is going to be rough. I'm curious as to whether or not he's going to go to the doctor. That would change how I play this, actually. If he's going to go to the doctor, it makes this much more challenging. If he's not going to go to the doctor, I would just put, like, two debuffs on every system, and then I would work on pre-existing conditions, like things like heredity, things like age, and stuff like that, or, like, uh, what are they called? 
risk factors. I would focus on risk factors and just let them trickle slowly down, and then we'll just edit out all the dead space. And that'd be the way that I would personally do it. It's been about 90 days, though, and he's developed a number of problems. We'll attack the muscular system first, and we're going to continue stacking up as many issues as possible. We're playing on a moderate difficulty, so this shouldn't be too hard to complete. On the highest difficulty, this game gets super hyped. It gets really difficult on the highest difficulty. Like, you actually have to really carefully plan out what you do, and there's no room for error. Like, I think when I played on the highest difficulty, I killed him off when they were at, like, 80% recovery. And that's how all of my highest difficulty playthroughs have gone so far, where it's, like, it's very close in the end. And you have to play it just right when you time your nurse's strikes and everything else. Okay, so he's got some problems. I think I was going to attack muscular first. Necrotizing fasciitis seems a little severe. So we'll just start out with a chronic muscle cramp. And we'll get fibromyalgia in there, sure. We'll go back. We've still got some points left over. My suggestion would be is we'll go after the nervous system as well. We're going to subject him to chronic stress for right now so that we've got two systems degrading. Uh, if he ends up going to the doctor, this will definitely get a lot more complicated. But we chose pre-existing, or I'm sorry, we chose collateral damage, so he should lose a little bit of condition from everything the more pain that he's in, which is good because that's ultimately the goal. We want to spread the damage around a little bit. We don't want it all condensed into one area. Uh, he is taking some hits right here. We could probably get rid of the muscular system by getting him inflicted with, I don't know, something nasty. There we go. A few more points to play around with. And with 18 points, I'm just going to spread the love around. I'll be fair. I'm going to throw something in right there and something in right there. So now he has dementia, so he's going a little bit crazy. He's fallen off the card a bit with regards to his mental faculties. He's no longer compass mentis, which makes you wonder who has power of attorney that's going to be running him to the doctor and everything and making sure he gets treatment. Maybe we could attack his attorney. Like, we got to go after the Saul Goodman in this whole thing. We can't go after... we got to give Saul Goodman dementia. That's the way that we kill this guy. That's how we get it done. See, I'm thinking outside the box. I'm thinking outside of, like, you know, the already preordained structures. I know who I want to hit, and I know... Ooh, there's a good little... Ooh, even better. That was a good little burst of points right there. I'm going to spread it around a bit. Let's give him some... His skeletal system has some issues. We'll give him... Ooh, we can give him leukemia? God damn, we're going for the throat with that one. Uh, we'll give him osteoporosis and arthritis real fast because he does have old age, so... Oh, he's going to the doctor. So we have to kill all the systems even though he's going to the doctor. I don't see any treatments going through, though, so maybe that was more of like a symbolic going to the doctor? It might have just been a pop-up. It doesn't look like he's getting any treatments right now. And when he goes to the doctor, they almost always start with, like, a blood pressure test and something else that goes really rapidly. And so I don't think he's getting treatment, which means it's going to be a field day for us to whack this guy. Oh, no, he is actually going to get treatment. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so that's going to be a I wouldn't have spread things around then if I had known that. I would have attacked one system at a time. Well, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. So he's got metabolic panels. Uh, as far as the treatments go, we're going to want to nerf that. So let's make it so that... Ah, I should have gotten that sooner. I didn't know he was going to go get treatment. All right, that's fine. We'll re-roll it if we have to. It's not a big deal. Uh, all treatments are 10% less effective. That's a lot of points, though. So they're treating that right now. I could hit him with necrotizing fasciitis, make him step on a nail in a dirty pond somewhere. Uh... Yeah, let's give him Parkinson's real fast. Keep that nervous system degrading at a rate that's acceptable. They're trying to treat a potassium deficiency when he's got Parkinson's disease. So, he's got a flu epidemic. That means, actually, we're going to get a ton of resources. Flu epidemics are really good for us. We want that. Because it means these little things are going to pop up all the time and make our lives easier. Unfortunately, these ones are a little spread out, but we'll do what we can to grab them all. There's another one right there. Oh my god, it is just a glut. Oh, he's trying to work out now, even though he's got Parkinson's. Huh? I guess physical therapy is a part of Parkinson's. Wow, this dude got yoked hella quick. Dear Lord, this guy got huge. He got swole. He's been using that swolled English cologne. All right, so his muscular system's been strengthened. I don't think it's going to help, though. Uh, let's continue attacking his nervous system. We're going to go for Alzheimer's over here. I can't go after... Oh, I can't go after burnout. Okay, we'll wait on burnout real fast. Although, he's going to go pretty quickly... He's now in the emergency system, or the emergency room, which means everything's going to go a little bit faster. I don't know where that one is. Oh, it's up on his head. It was camouflage. It was a sneaky little microbe. 
All right, systems are now failing, which is great. And they can't give him, like, a muscle transplant or anything. The heart actually tends to be the easiest thing to attack. But your patient can get a heart transplant, which is, it restores it up by, like, 50%. It's a huge pain in the ass. Like, you really don't want him to get a heart transplant. It's a huge pain. He was born with good genetics. Didn't I give him bad genetics already, though? Like, how can he be born with both good and bad genetics simultaneously? We got systems failing. Things are falling apart. We probably want to spread points around now so as to maximize the collateral damage that we have on his system. We also want to slow down. We'll probably do, like, a nurse's strike or something pretty soon. It's kind of like an airstrike, but with mostly angry nurses. Angry, unionized nurses. So he's got a brain pet scan. Let's go ahead, nurses strike. That'll freeze the diagnostic test for like a week or like a month or something like that. Keep us in business until he's fully failing and falling apart. Ooh, I like that alliteration. That alliteration made me happy. Basically, we want it to be too late for him to do anything about it by the time... There we go. Nervous system's down. We're going to attack his circulatory system now. So legs swelling. We're going to hit him with everything we can while our nurse's strike is still active. And once the skeletal system goes, everything else should start to fail pretty rapidly. This dude is a little yoked and healthy to be dying, though. That's how it was with my granddad when he passed. My granddad was a big-ass, like, yoked-out Hawaiian dude. And it was always crazy seeing him deteriorate because, like, my entire life, he'd always been, like, this big, buff, strong guy. You know what I mean? It's weird to see that happen to somebody because you just tend to associate them with, like, masculinity and strength and yet... One day, that's all we're waiting for, is we're all going to wake up with a stomach pain someday, and that's going to be it. That's going to be it. The joy of mortality, kids. The joy of mortality. Uh, so he's under treatment for a whole bunch of stuff right now. It would probably do well for all of us if we were able to stall that with another nurse's strike. So what I'm going to do is we're going to stall this with one more nurse's strike. There we go. That'll kill off the ridiculous quantity of treatments he has right now and buy us a little bit more time to tank some of his systems. That's not going to last forever, though, so we got to play it as it lies for right now. Hopefully that gets his systems low down and hurt enough. Oh, I was hoping we would generate a lot more resources. Unfortunately, we're not generating very many right now, and I need to attack other systems. Nurse's Strike's probably got about 10 days left on it. That seems like a cruel strike right there. Like, that's a, that's, a, that's a rough strike to ethically propose. Be like, hey, doctor strike. We're going to let people die until you pay us more. That's rough, man. Like, I understand people need, like, pay increases and people need job protection. But that one's a little dubious. Like, on the edge of it, I'm like, ah. I'm going to give him leukemia. We're going to go for the big bombs now. We're going to try and drop him the fun way. So he's got that right there. The doctor is making noises that sound like my cat vomiting. Uh, over here, what else is failing? We will give him photosensitivity. Insomnia and chronic fatigue. Basically, just spread the love around now. Spread the love around. After circulatory goes, it should pretty much be railroaded. There we go. So that's down, and he should start losing a ton of resources. Normally, he'd be dead by this point, but what are you going to do? Uh, so we've got renal, digestive. So let's go to his immune system. And let's just hit that with a little bit of extra oomph, make it go down. Uh, renal system, we'll give him kidney cysts, and we'll give him urinary incontinence. Just keep spreading the pain around, making him hoit. There goes another system. I don't think you can treat Parkinson's. Like, Parkinson's is one of those things that you just have, man. That would suck, though. I would never want to get part. There's certain things that I would just never want to get. And that should be it. Boom, he's down. Finally killed out 8 of 8. And then his recovery actually didn't make it that far on that one, too. I feel pretty solid about that attack. So there it is. A couple more skulls for our skull throne. Alright, so on the next one, we've got Cardio Respiratory Arrest. Uh, when it comes to... Hmm. How many skulls do I have? I have 10 skulls. Okay, so 12 will unlock that. So let's just do this on the moderate difficulty. We're going to call this one, uh, oh, I don't know. We'll call this one Paddywhack Patella. There we go, that sounds good. I never know if Paddywhack is spelled with T's or D's. I never, I never know. Uh, we can get bonus bio points while in the emergency room, random eruptions from random sources. 
I don't know if I want that. As far as diseases go, collateral damage worked out pretty well. I don't want to start this stage with two randomly pre-evolved diseases. Removes any prerequisite risk factors for all diseases. Oh, that's pretty good. That means I can hit, like, everything. Wow. Uh, we can go slow diagnosis. I would probably take that one. That sounds good to me. Longer nurses strikes is actually pretty good, too. We'll take that one. And then as far as his environments go, days are 20% longer. System collapse speed is up by 30%. Resources stay for an extra half second. Okay. I'll probably go risk factors then. And... Yeah, let's start with... Oh, I only have one XP. I'm gonna go with randomly evolved risk factors, and then we'll take... 50% uh, more time on... Yeah. We'll make it so treatments take longer. I've still got points left over, but I gotta level up further so I can get more bonuses stacked up. So I can take these kids out. Ooh, this guy's in rough shape already. So is he just gonna go straight to... He's gonna go straight to the doctor. On this one, I think we might want to start with bio points. Since he's gonna be starting treatment, I think the best way to do this one is just to open with a salvo that keeps the nurses from being able to help him with his recovery. On the plus side, we do get a pretty huge boon in the fact that he's already... And we start right there with better harvest power, too. He's getting treated for hypertension already, but bio points are not forthcoming. All right. So my guess is that he's already got pretty bad heart failure. A lot of this is going to hinge around whether or not they give him a heart transplant. If they give him a heart transplant, I've got to play this a little differently. He's not eating properly. Okay, that's good. That'll help out a little bit. It'll mess with his digestive system. What else we got going on here? I mean, his heart's gonna fail. And while that fails, we'll start getting collateral in other areas. Although he's already on 10% recovery right now. That's a little horrifying. I think it just kind of skipped the uh, front end of this challenge. So circulatory's about to die. We'll decide what we want to attack next, but for now I gotta take it slow here. So he's in full-on systems failure. He was already... Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll get some free bio points here. So they're working on his angina right now. That's not going to matter because his circulatory system's already tanked. Everything else is going to start falling apart. We'll probably hit respiratory next since that's the obvious weak spot. So let's go in. I'm going to hit respiratory real fast. We'll give him bronchitis. We'll give him the flu. I don't have enough to give him H1N1, but I can give him chronic bronchitis, and that'll help tank his respiratory a little bit. Uh, he will go to the doctor for that. I guarantee you he will. And so we're going to need to call a nurse's strike pretty soon just to make sure that respiratory systems go down as well. He's got an allergy test to try and look for what's causing that bronchitis. Unfortunately, I didn't get enough points from right there to get... Did I? Let me see what the first nurse's strike is going to be. We'll do it once he starts treatment, actually. So they're trying to treat his bronchitis right now, and that should nix the entire chain. So what we want to do is we want to call a nurse's strike right about now. And so there's a nurse's strike. Uh, that's going to buy us some time to allow his respiratory condition to deteriorate. Whether or not he'll lose respiratory before the nurse's strike ends remains to be seen, but that's what we're attempting, is we're hoping that by the time the respiratory system, by the time this ends and treatment fails right there, the respiratory system should already be down. Renal system generating a couple points for us right there. I'd like to see if I can get something else to fail on respiratory. So respiratory, he's trying to get healed right now. I can give him pneumothorax. Let's go ahead and do that just to try and seal the deal on him. And so there it is. That's had the deal sealed. For eight, we can get plus eight or plus one per resource. Everything else is going to be failing from now on in. Uh, the next obvious attack point is going to be either musculoskeletal or his nervous system are the two that I'm looking at. Uh, they're the ones that seem like what I want to hit him with super hard. He should deteriorate mostly on his own at this point. There's really not coming back from it once you've got two systems that are in open failure. Like, even if they fix this stuff, he's already going. Like, he's already he's getting chest x-rays done. That's fine. He can get that done all day long. couple more points right there let's 
hit that nervous system. We're going to give him some stress. We're going to give him a nervous breakdown, and then we'll go for dementia next. I just want to see him continue to deteriorate along three different functions. This is basically going to be a race to the end. So they're trying to treat his pneumothorax right now. That's fine. Keep chasing around symptoms that won't help him. That's perfectly fine by me. And that's the big thing, is you kind of want to lead them on a wild goose chase. I've had them working on people's potassium deficiencies and whatnot while they're going through, like, horrible heart failure. And that's perfect. That's exactly what you want to happen. You want them chasing false positives and whatnot. All right, a little bit more right there. We got 20 points lined up. Nervous system, okay. I feel like we basically got this guy on the ropes. Like, he's probably going to go down in the next couple seconds. I may just start saving my points so I can get a better score. Perfect. And he should be down as soon as nervous system fails. We'll be all right. Uh, he just got a neurological exam. Not going to help. Neurological. He's got to have something left to exam. And so there it is. We've terminated Patty Whack Patella. And so he's got uh, leftover bio points and all that fun stuff. Not my best score, but my, that was a pretty quick termination on 128 days. And so that's going to take us back over and it's going to unlock whatever the next tier is, which I'm going to have a look at. So that's unlocked Time Bomb. The clock never stops ticking. So what does that mean for Time Bomb? Like, I, I need specifics on here. Huh. I don't know exactly what that means. But for Time Bomb... Huh. Well, let's have a look at it. Maybe we'll do it in the next episode. I just want to see what the constraints are to determine whether or not this is going to be, like, accomplishable. Uh, we'll give him... We'll give him more symptoms. And then we'll also take a slow diagnosis. And we'll just kind of see what's going on right now. Alright, so he's a ticking... Oh, we have 14 minutes to kill him. That's what it's going to be. Alright. Well, I mean, if that's what the challenge is going to be, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is Splattercat. This game is called Bio Incorporated Redemption. In the next episode, we will more than likely take on some of these challenges. If you wanted to see me do some of the hard mode stuff, I can absolutely attempt to do that just to show you how to get it done. If you're struggling with it. However, I haven't been able to complete a lot of them, so I'll have to sit down and do a little bit of on my own research in order to get it finished off. Because each one, there's actually like a way to ace each one by lining up your pre-existing conditions and stuff like that. And if you don't do it, you're actually putting yourself at a severe disadvantage to try and finish them off. Uh, but yeah, the game's called Bio Incorporated Redemption. If you wanted to get it for yourself, I've got a link for you down below and all that jazz. If you like what I do on the channel, check out the Patreon. It's a fun way to support me while getting access to Discord servers for key giveaways and stuff like that. Uh, there's not a whole lot else to talk about. I'm going to continue killing a guy, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you for stopping on in. Bye-bye, everybody.